Yo, this is Tone for Tone, and you're getting lifted to the sounds of my DJ, DJ Spaceship. Go ahead and beam them up, boy. Let's get them. Yeah. Greetings and 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 salutations from us to all the nations. We're about to get loose, strictly for entertainment. We're rapping Tampa Bay. Ten toes down, this waves of the bay. No, we ain't playing brown. Tuesday nights from make the ten, make sure you ride the wave. This tone component, and DJ spaceship on your airways. We'll mix it in a few R and B and hip hop. We're blasting off and the top is just a pit stop. What's happening, gentlemen? Y'all all right, man? Had a good day? You ate all your vegetable soup? Okay. <laughs> you, you had your Campbell suit over there, M16? Oh, yeah. Did you find the M and the 16 or just the M, the I, and you made the 9, a, the, you know, a 16? M16? I'm fucking with you, man. I'm with you, man. <laughs> 16! What's happening? What's happening? See, y'all don't even know, man. Like, we've been kind of calm right now. Like I said, it's quiet in here right now, but it's about to get loud. We're about to get it in, man. We ain't had no drink in here or nothing. I haven't even sipped my tea. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's the rain. That might be what it is. Whatever the case may be. But <laughs> this is Waves of the Bay, episode 33. Make sure y'all follow us social media at Waves of the Bay. Submit your music, Waves of the Bay Radio at gmail.com. We got a couple of uh, hip hop cats in the building right now. We got M, the hybrid M16. What's happening? Illuminating the building, man. What's going on, fellas? Chilling, man. Yo, shouts out Urban Blend Entertainment, Nick Hell Major. Yeah. Nick Major, what's good, bro? We got yeah. your your flyer on the back wall right there. Man. <laughs> Look Shout at out that Culture there. Shock, man. Yeah. Nick out there looking like a superstar. Ain't he, though? <laughs> Shout out Roberto Rivera for signing that shit, man. That was a clean-ass flyer right there. Part of the Ignite Tonight. Man, we'd had a lot of flyers, dog. I'm going to tell you, on my webpage, I'll be updating the shit, and we got a lot of damn flyers, bro. <laughs> Ignite the Night's been going for a little bit, man. But Urban Blend, though, y'all been yeah. doing y'all's thing, too. Y'all done a lot in a little bit of time. Yeah. So I know enough of background about y'all. How did that come to be, though? Um, it was just, uh, you know, figuring out what, what I had to do as an artist. And basically me and Major, you know, making the decision to go at it together and just really figure out the business side of music. And, uh, yeah, you know, ended up making a um making a business we're registered with the state of florida and we're um also publishers with ascap and bmi so you know if anybody needs help you know don't be afraid to reach out and ask i appreciate that yeah yeah impact era let me hear about that too because i'm pretty sure y'all on the same wave temp with that it's pretty much the same thing we impact Era is like a a two type of entity Mm -hmm. organization so we have the fraternity which is just a bunch of like a collective of artists here in the mm-hmm. Tampa area, and then we also have the record label, which we also you know we are publishers with BMI and ASCAP, and we also uh, run distribution for multiple artists, like twelve different artists uh, that are all around the world. We got people in Africa and India. We got EDM DJs, all kinds of shit going on. That's what it is, that's, man. Yeah. And that's what that, like, I wasn't even expecting to get into that with y'all, but the <laughs> business side of things like yeah. that impresses me because a lot of artists don't have their business right. <laughs> yeah, and I know you do a lot of shows at Pegasus and do open mics and shit like that, and you're doing it to get paid. Mm-hmm. Like people don't right. understand, you can get paid off that <laughs> yeah, shit. You get paid, yeah. you know, almost you get paid doing show. karaoke. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's true. People don't understand that shit, man. Like there's, there's a way to finesse the, the system because mm-hmm. it's not about CD sales anymore, man. Nah, that shit is all dead now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's what it's it all is. about those digital streams and uh, merchandise. Yep. Merchandise mm-hmm. is a big thing too. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> yeah, both of y'all are huge on branding too. So. Uh, mm-hmm. The 16, man. Like, we've known each other for a long time. Yeah, man. man. Like, you you have more hair in your head than you do in your <laughs> face now, dog. Like, that's <laughs> for real, man. But since I'm, we, we were talking about this, like, way at the beginning of this whole series, like, maybe episode yeah. one or two. Okay. Your come up, dog. Like, oh, yeah. I've seen this shit firsthand, man. Yeah, like, yeah. what all have you put into the transformation from, like, let's say five, six years ago to, to what we're looking at right now? Um,. I put everything into it. I'm a totally different person than I was six years ago, uh, you know, physically and mentally. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, but, you know, that's that's with anything, you know. You just grow, you know, and, and if it, if it's important to you, then you're going to stick with it. So, mm-hmm. but. Did you have to tighten up anything or what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know. Over time, you find little things to tweak here and there, but, mm-hmm. you know, some some big changes. Um, you know, I ain't even going to lie, bro. I used to, uh, 
I used to get in my feelings, you know what I'm saying? And I used to talk a lot of shit on Facebook, you know, five, six years ago. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it it just puts you, it makes it weird, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I, it wasn't more like it, I wasn't mad at, you know, the community or anything. It was just personal frustration that was coming out. And, <clears throat> you know, I kind of, you know, Pissed a few people off, you know what I'm saying? But that shit happens, man, you know what I'm saying? Growing pains, that shit comes yeah, territory. Yeah, you know, over time you realize, you know, it. I don't know, it's not really that big a deal, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? But if you're passionate about it, you know what I'm saying, it's gonna, you're going to feel some kind of way, but it just comes with self-growth and trying to, uh, you know, react or observe instead of react. True. So, so what was your breaking point to get you to turn from sitting and soaking like LeBron James did the same thing when he yeah. went to Miami to the Heat. Mm-hmm. All the stuff people were saying about him negatively, and in, and it showed his first season there, and they didn't get the chip. But that next season he did. Right. So what was your breaking point to take you out of that funk? Um, just been wanting to be everywhere. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, you can't go out to you know what I'm saying. It, it's a real awkward feeling, especially for me because I guess you could say I'm kind of like an introvert or right. whatever. Um, I think you do pretty good at being introvert, though. I think <laughs> I mean, you're an introvert. I think he with knows control. what he needs to do. I've yeah, been trying. I think he comes in with a game plan and handles that shit. <laughs> now you've been given the title the ears and the eyes for my man Nick Major. You know, what yeah. I'm saying shout out to Nick. Yeah. How 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 heavy of a responsibility is that for you? Um, what it was being what title? Uh, the ears and the eyes for Nick Major. Yeah. Um. So how heavy of a responsibility is that for you? Um. It's it's. It's a big responsibility, but it's not that hard. I gotcha. talk to I talk to Major every day. Gotcha. So we're always on the same page, right. you know. And if 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 we don't talk every day, it's every other day. But um, I mean, it's a constant. You know, what are we doing? You know, what's popping? Who do we need to be involved with? Right. Or you know, what I'm saying just networking and helping helping each other. You know, we're gonna all help each other come up. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Everybody is enough for everybody to win. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's just different levels of success that people get to that. So, you know, but I mean, the, the, the work, the networking collaborations, it's always there. Gotcha. Yeah. Now I got some bars that I want to run by you and I want you okay. to tell me what you would do, uh, from the bone thugs camp. They say, if I can teach the world, if M16 can teach the world, what would you teach the world? Mm. Love yourself. Okay. There's, there's, you know, a lot of people, it starts with you. Right. You know, it's mm-hmm. everybody's living their own, their own in their own reality. But right. you know, you got to look out for yourself first. You can't if you don't love yourself, it's going to be hard for you to love somebody else mm-hmm. because you know you're going to spend all your time putting that into somebody else. Right. And you know, God forbid if that ever goes away, you forgot how to love yourself. Right. You know, and damn truth right there. Yeah, yeah. So you know, if I could change the world, just learn to love yourself, and you know, nothing, nothing, nothing can really bother you. Right, and if, it's not, if you do love yourself enough, it's nothing wrong with loving mm-hmm. yourself. I mean, the, the big the big thing is it's not a problem loving somebody too fast. It's a problem loving the wrong person too long. Right, right. and just watching you as an artist, your artistry. I remember the first time I used to see you get on stage and do your thing. You had it, but you wasn't confident. Mm. Right, right. And then you just got to a point you were just like, like, can't nobody it. tell him. Can nobody? Can nobody? Like, <laughs> For real, the, the type man, of the like. type of person you are on stage and off stage, two different, two different people. Oh yeah, yeah. In definitely. a good way. Right, right. Um. So what is it like? Is there what type of motivation do you hold on to when you t- when you touch the mic? You get on the stage. Um. <sighs> man. What a question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because it's like you transform, you know, like yeah. Superman hit the booth, he come, well, Clark, you know, Clark go in, come out of Superman. And, right, right. You know, everybody, they transform. So, like, what is the motivation that you ha- you hang on to to transform into M16 on the stage? I just, I just want to be the best version of myself. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know how well I can write. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when it comes to performing, it's a totally different story because, you know, people are watching you right. and you have to move around. They can't just, you know, sit back and listen mm-hmm. to what you're saying. Right. So, um, I don't know, man. It, it, I guess you kind of grow into it. Right. There's not really nothing that, like, you know, pushes me. I just know, you know, when, when it comes on, you know, you got to go in. Gotcha. Um, one, of, one of my best performances, though, I got to say, one time I did a show at Orpheum and... I walked in, and they got, you know, there's like 20 people on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's jumping. Right. The mics are down here, and everybody's, you know, lip syncing, whatever, whatever. So they get off stage, and I go to go up, and it's like 20 people walking out of the club. And it made me mad, you know. like You wanted them to see what you finna do. So before they get out, I jump, ran to the stage, grabbed the mic. 
I'm like, yo, my name is M16, and I don't fucking lip sync. And you know, everybody turns <laughs> around, and it's like, and then I went in, like, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of aggression right. helps, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes but, you got to talk that shit, man. <laughs> you, got yeah. you got to. You got to. You got to let them know that you're here, man. Yeah, definitely. Have you had, like, a performance that was, like, terrible? Like, one of the performances, like, you look at, like, <laughs> damn, I can't believe I did that shit and, and kind of, like, set the tone for how to proceed moving forward type shit? Nah, uh, I definitely say I don't, um, I don't indulge myself anymore before I perform. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't even drink anymore. Yeah? Yeah, it's totally dumb. Good shit. You know, yeah. Good but, shit. um, but at the same time, you know, uh, I can't. You know, I can't be burning and going on stage. I'll be out of breath. And mm-hmm. all that. I've seen you recently. I'm not going to say no names, but I've yeah. seen seen people. How can I say this? Okay, I drink. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's my my you know my go to. Right. Um. But I can drink and DJ my ass off. Like that doesn't yeah, change yeah, anything. Yeah. Now I tried to smoke and do it. That didn't. I didn't. Mm-hmm. I, I just didn't feel that. Right. But I've seen people try to smoke and perform, and it didn't end so well. Yeah, it, yeah. One of my worst performances on my birthday, <laughs> probably like ten years ago, and I, my ass was thrown. I was like, <laughs> I think I was like twenty six, twenty seven. So I'm in that age range. Right. You know what I'm saying? Throw the shit at the old Good Luck Cafe, going up and down the steps. Motherfucker slid. Busted my no. ass, bounced back up, kept going. No. And from that moment on, I was like, I can't get thrown before yeah. I go on. Good so luck. That's why I always be trying to perform like second and third, you know what I'm saying? Right, get that right. shit out the way, get into kicking mode. But yeah, I've had a bad experience. Yeah. I, I think I think the worst thing for me will probably be uh you know, like slipping on some lyrics and mm-hmm. not being able to catch catch back on yeah. to it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, if that happened, would you be able to play it off or what? Because I've seen a lot of people just freeze up all the way. Like, uh, there's a way I mean, you can I'll finesse get back to it. Shit. Like, it, I, I try, and it happens, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think at the last show, Ignite the Friday, there was like maybe a word that might mm-hmm. have slipped up or whatever, but, you know, just stay on it. Um, there's been a, been a few times where, you know, I miss a whole bar. You know, you just kind of, it's weird, you bro. You got to go it's, with it's it. It's the longest six seconds ever, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you just got to be like, you. yeah, <laughs> make some noise. Right. Where the next bar at? You got to act like the mic is moving away from you. That's the secret, <laughs> though. Act like that shit just dropped for a quick second. Yeah. And then get back into it. Man. That's, that's the secret. Though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the secret H taught me years ago, believe it or not. Yeah. Man. That shit stuck with me, so. <laughs> that's dope. Yeah, Ways of the Bay, episode 33. We're chopping it up, man. We got Hybrid M16 16. Luminators up in here, man. Lumen. Yes, sir. Tell me about the name, bro. Well, uh, Lumen is Latin for light. And uh, I made Luminate because, you know, Illuminate <laughs> light, shine. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, it's that. It's that basic. Yeah. <laughs> Are you from around here? Or what? Yeah, I'm, I was actually born in Boston, but I moved down here with my mom when I was three. Okay. So I was born and raised in Tampa, Florida, all day. Yeah. Nice. You gonna hit him with that question? or No. No, nah, I'm gonna let him come. You gonna let him go? I'm gonna let him breathe for a little bit. I'm gonna let him breathe for a little bit. I learned oh shit. Here we go. Oh shit. Yeah, man. So, all right. So you came from Boston when you was young. Yes, sir been around here how long have you been in the hip-hop game or, or trying to pursue music like really I, pursue music i've been really i mean i started when i was like 17 i wasn't serious about it though it was like kind of like a hobby kind of thing to mm-hmm. me and uh i really got into it when i hit 19 i got into college at HCC, and i ran into a bunch of other kids that were rapping and stuff and we all started freestyling together and uh, one of my friends had a studio so i made one of my first tracks and ever since then it's just been it's been like a love and hate kind of relationship with with music because like I wanted to start off when I when I first started making music I was a vocalist like a singer okay so I was like uh, doing like lead vocals for rock bands and stuff like that and after a while I you know after so many failed ba- band pra- uh, band practices I was just like well let me go make some music that I don't need other people for like maybe just a producer maybe an engineer and that's mm-hmm. it I don't need to worry about somebody playing guitar and bass and all that extra shit so. Yeah, trying to sync schedules up as a motherfucker, mm-hmm. dog. And then egos when it comes to groups and shit. That's, I'm been blessed with this cat right here because right. we both been pretty egoless. Right. We get into it here and there, but at the end of the day, we are, we a are team and we're moving in the same direction, right. man. And yeah, I can imagine having a band. Yeah, and it's, it's always sucks. somebody that thinks they're bigger than the band. There's always David Ruffin right. with the shit. That's why I love being business partners with Kush because like. We're both so, like, detached from our identities Mm -hmm. of, like, trying to be bigger than the next person. So it's, like, working with him is, like, if we're wrong, then we're wrong. If we're right, then we're right. And if whatever works out, works out in the end. So How did y'all link up? Um, It was actually kind of funny. It was, like, six years ago. um, I had just started a Facebook group called Support Local Hip Hop for the Tampa scene. That shit popped off, like, stupid quick. A lot of people were in it. 
and Kush was one of the people, and he just so happened to be one of the ones that like I noticed because he's just a noticeable guy, you know. And then uh, we linked up, I think in person about like two days after we met on Facebook and stuff. And then we found out that we had a lot in common. Like we're really spiritual. We we really want to help other, you know the community and stuff. And so um, uh, we started Impact Era together back then. And ever since then, it's just been really cohesive and smooth. Yeah. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I like that shit, man. Mm-hmm. And Kush is definitely a recognizable motherfucker, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's no way. That's a one of one right there, yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. It's Ways of the Bay, episode 33. You're right here. Uh, let's talk about the benefit show y'all about to be put on, man. Uh, I know we might have y'all a slide through on Saturday, I believe, uh, for a little bit. We got an extended show. On. They got us on some okie doke shit, man. Let's talk about this shit real quick. I ain't quick. complaining. I ain't complaining either, except a little bit. But nah, they got us on the Saturday where the time fall back. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we got an extended show on yeah. Saturday, so Damn. we just we're gonna fill in the gaps and have some fun with that. We're gonna be getting it in. I'm for cool real. with it. I'll be coming from um, I'll be coming from Polk County. Um, mm-hmm. Be going to support a very very special person of mine's. Um, we're gonna be in uh, Polk County at a nice celebration over there, and then I've got a jet back this way. Not jet, but you know, literally get back in time to make it to the show mm. and um, do my thing. We got a uh, crystal coming in. You know what I'm saying? So it's time oh, to tighten right. up. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good vibe, man. We're gonna have that. Yeah, we're about to get that party music going yeah, on Saturday. Oh, we're talking about Saturday night shutdown, eighty eight point five FM out here in Tampa. Y'all can tune in online as well, WMNF.org. The big boy radio station FM and we got Chris Dahl. That shit gonna be crazy. I haven't interviewed that dude in a long I haven't talked to this dude in a little bit, man. Chris Dahl? Like, yeah, because he's out on his world tour type shit, man. So he was I'm just excited in, about uh, that. I think he was just up in Jacksonville. Yeah, that dude be out with it, man. And um, I was on his Facebook. Yeah, well, today I was on his Facebook, and he was in Jacksonville. Whew. Good times. Yeah. <laughs> I, had to, I had to pull myself together looking at his, his Facebook, man. I was like, oh, okay. All right. I'm sure of that. He'd been doing this thing for a good a good bit of time, a too. A good amount you of know time, what I'm saying? man. So there's definitely going to be a good conversation to be had with Chris Dahl in the building. And then having you guys come in and speak about the um, the hurricane relief event yeah. mm-hmm. uh, coming up Sunday as well, which is the very next day, so it, yeah. yeah, it all fits in perfectly. But let's talk about that though, man. How did that even come about? Um, Why y'all be doing such good stuff for other people? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. Yeah, somebody got to put it in the, nah, um, it's in the bloodline. You know, mm-hmm. that's that's just major, man. You know, he's got such a big heart and he cares about everybody. Yeah, and uh, you know, what better way? Than to you know, what I'm saying, put on a show, have some fun, and help people out at the same time. Um, you know, we we usually do the benefit show for 88.5, mm-hmm. and um, and we thank you, yeah, we yeah, thank you kindly, we, thank, we you. thank you guys, you know, what I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, this time, uh, hurricanes were really bad, you know, I mean, they're bad every year, but you know, this year we just figured why not try and help towards that, mm-hmm. you know, especially with uh. You know everything always coming to Florida, you know, or close by Florida. So especially uh, the keys, yeah. So the keys got you hit. know, yeah. uh, major. He hit up Tom. Shouts out to Tom. Shouts out to the Crowbar. All right. Uh, he said we could get it November third, and yeah, all donations going to the Red Cross for hurricane relief. And um, you know, other than that, it's gonna be fun, man. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, so it's gonna be Crowbar Sunday, November third, and it's an early show from six to ten. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. So you know, come out to the show, enjoy it, stick around for ODS. Um, but you know, shouts out to uh, DJ Terra, DJ Bobby mm-hmm. Terra Castro. Squad. Yeah, they're gonna be spinning all night, and then uh, shouts out to Mr. SB. Yeah. And Gino Lexus, they hosting Slim it. Slim bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to SB, man. We yeah. we major put him on for the first time to do hosting. And he's about to he's he, about to kill it, man. I promise bro, you. He SB is a he's been he's been groomed bro. for this shit, man. We we clown so much whenever we're out. Yeah, he'll be perfectly fine with that shit, man. <laughs> I got major calling in right now. <laughs> you mean we can put him on? He's over here calling. <laughs> I don't know how we can do that. My phone plug up. Huh? Should I put him on speaker? Yeah, I've got the got cable. cable. Yeah. Oh yeah. shit! Here we go. Here it is. Yo. We got Nick Major calling in. All right. Just put the, uh, he's only going to be able to hear y'all off the phone. But he oh. should be on. Yo. Hello? Yo. Yo, yo. We can hear you. Engine, engine, number nine, on the New York Transit line. 
If my train come off the track, pick, pick it up, up, pick it up, pick it up. Hey. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna straighten it out on Sunday. Yes, sir. Yeah. Where are my people at? Chilling. Is he on video? No. No. I'm like Sting. I'll be watching you. Got my new videos in the in the house tonight. Dad, I'm 16. I articulate what's going on Sunday. Um, mm-hmm. What do you say? You said, tell us what's happening on Sunday. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. right, my bad, brother. Just grab the mic. Oh. Yeah, it comes out. Hey, I'll oh, put it on the audio up here. I got my food. There we go. We got Nick Major on the phone right here, Ways of the Bay, episode 33. Nick, what's good? I like the way you have a poster of me in your... I'm going to be performing. We also have Jinx. Shouts out to Jinx. Yeah. Uh, Shouts out to Muchi Molino coming all the way from Philly. Um, We got... uh, got Tommy in the building. Tommy Burns. Burns. Um, Black Rose. Mm -hmm. Dave. Uh, Kid Loki. (laughs) She's going to be coming through with her ukulele. Shout out Kid Loki, man. One of my favorite performances was at her open mic night. (laughs) I had like a 30 minute session and I had fun with that shit. Yo, yo. she's dope, man. For real. Yeah. She makes good music. Uh, Luminate, rocking. Yes, sir. And uh, also, (laughs) shouts out to Miss Panther. She's coming through. Rocking it. I've heard good stuff about her, man. Yeah, yeah. I've I've seen her perform. Uh, So I was the one that reached out to her to get her on the show. But yeah, she's got a good performance, good music, high energy. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. What time does all this kick off? 6 p.m. Okay. What's that mission? Uh, $5. Okay. You said everything's going to the Red Cross? Everything's yes, going to Red Cross for what it uh, is, hurricane man. relief. Yeah. That's what it is, man. <laughs> Who are you excited to see perform? Uh, I, oh. I, huh? What'd you say, Nick? I got a major announcement. Get it? <laughs> if you didn't get it, it's okay. But if you do get it, it's, it's a major better. announcement. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> We got a special appearance by members of the Saturday Night Shutdown. Boom. Did you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Loud and clear. (laughs) Shouts out Saturday Night Shutdown. Them niggas is all right. (laughs) I like the old guys better. First Saturdays has gone down the drain. <laughs> we do what we got to do, not because we have to, because we want to. Big we put on for a uh, city uh, every time. That's what we do. We create opportunities for ourselves and those around us. That's why I straighten it out and do it and help the community. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And y'all do what doesn't have to be done but needs to be done. And we definitely appreciate y'all for even thinking about people besides yourselves, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we're talking about hurricane relief and Tampa hasn't been hit by no hurricane. Right. You know, we're talking about helping other people out. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this day and age, man, people don't really care. Like, honestly, it's it's a selfish culture we're in right now so for y'all to be doing stuff for other people man that's, that's huge yo that's major that's major <laughs> that's literally <laughs> for real 
But what we want to do, uh, look, we want to play one of the songs from one of the artists that's going to be rocking. You know, get some of the music out in circulation. That way everybody that's listening knows who's about to be doing the damn thing. So we actually got the host uh, of the show, Mr. SB. One of my favorite tracks from it. It's called One of Them. So uh, we're going to play into the song right quick. We'll be right back. Luminate Hybrid M16. We got hey. plenty to talk about. We got a lot of time left, too. So Ways One in the Bay, them? episode 33. Old school with a truckload of flows. This is for the naysayers, friend of me and foes. Yeah, your main and your side slow. Flirting with your moms with your BM on my arm. Crazy, disrespectful, nice squeeze, God bless you. Boy, I got the recipe, cook or whoever tested me. Flexing ain't my thing, nah, I ain't even big yet. Punch you in your shit. Mm-hmm. That's a chin check. Check, please, just for my presence. I ain't half second. Best homie Smith, no will. Last name Wesson. And be begging to get louder than your best weed. Fire said B, don't trust him, cousin, for nothing. He ain't one of us, then he just one of them. So I said, cool, fire, fire on all of them. Thou shalt not with SB. Let's he die a sad death, part in my bro, you stuck. One of them, black. one of them. Black. If he ain't one of us, then he just one of them. Black. One of them, black. one of them. If he ain't one of us, then he just one of them. Black. One of them, black. one of them. If he ain't one of us, then he just one of them. Black. One of them, black. one of them. If he ain't one of us, then he just one of them. Black. Oh, they don't like me. Nah, that was last year. Boy, I got that new, new. Please call it old oh, year. Ice cold flow, be the magic for your. Took her backstage, then oops on her nose. How long was she? Nobody knows. Back to the illest pink game, ridiculous. Who do it better on all levels? I'm waiting. I've been practicing, not my craft, my patience. Some waiting, some hating. Well, come on. I'm too tall to come up short. Me trying to prove you something, that's a loss. I don't floss, I don't brag, I'm a boss. This business ain't about cash and why talk. Miss me with the petty Every time I spoke, if this flow was like a diamond, be the best cut, the best to cut the ball. I'm not the one of f- with you. One of them, black. one of them. Black. If he ain't one of us, then he just one of them. Black. One of them, black. one of them. If he ain't one of us, then he just one of them. Black. One of them, black. one of them. If he ain't one of us, then he just one of them. Black. One of them, black. one of them. If he ain't one of us, then he just What's one of them. What they gon' say now? I ain't about that life. Cool, apply pressure, I stretch, you ain't nothing nice. One of us or one of them won't ask twice. I let them talk that slick talk. Boy, I keep my checks up. Rest assured, you intervene, your queen get touched. Dream peace, non-violent silence my foes. Let the record show, I try to let them know. But they prefer foe, not friends, so let's go. Catch me riding low, low. Head him up for No tin on the whip, yep, I'm still letting bro. I don't give a you know if you know I'm my attitude sometimes change and she adapt to that Real situation, your money, we be spinning that Jay's chains, even fragrance before I'm hitting that Chill, son, I ain't got no ill will, son Check your chick, son, don't get your shit check like verse one One of them, one of them If he ain't one of us, then he just one of them One of them, one of them If he ain't one of us, then he just one of them Hey, shout out to Nunu, man. Who Nunu? Oh, y'all gonna see Nunu. Oh, shit. She gonna turn me to a Nunu man. Oh, My Nunu turntables. Her name oh, Nunu. Hey, okay. Yeah, okay, man. Right. Watch me tell y'all. <laughs> tell you, man. Nunu. Just handle business, dog. See if it's on. What, right here? Yeah. We post. Pull down the box. Wow, pull down the box. <laughs> My man say, pull down the box. And act like you got on some skates. <laughs> you you didn't pull the box down, Tom? Uh, it's been a while. Oh, damn. <laughs> pull it down, there should be a he said, pull down the box. That's, that's going to be a classic. Hey, hey, uh, M16, pull down the box. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> pull the box. All right, all right. There I go. I hear myself again. Shout out to Miss Mary on the tune in from Kansas. Yeah, I wanted to shout her out, but we're going to do it a little bit later, man. We got some good news and some bad news kind of at the same time. It's a good culmination of stuff, but shout out Miss Mary, man, for real. I'm jealous it's snowing out there, not out here, too. I ain't jealous of that shit. I want it to snow. We want snow. Yeah, back in Kansas, it's snowing. 
I, I see. That's that. the reason was, uh, I'm down here. I was watching a football shorts. game. A, a Chill, high hot, school. chilling. I was watching a high school football game out there on, and on on live, and it just started snowing. Yeah, I was like fuck. Why that couldn't be Tampa, man? Y'all they ain't gonna lose y'all fucking mind if it's snow down here. No, not me. I'm, ain't I, nobody I, I mean, going anywhere except for us Midwesterners. I would go somewhere. Just ride out. <laughs> I would still know how to. I would know how to you know, handle empty. myself. Of course, I've lived in snow before, so it's it's nothing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting used I couldn't to do it, now, man. You know? I hate snow. I hate being cold. Rather, I'd rather be. I seen snow cold. one time and it was pretty cool. Well, where, 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 where'd you go? Uh, North Carolina. You uh, ain't seen snow. Yo, what yeah, part of North yeah. Carolina you went in? Up in the mountains. Uh, okay, Murphy. you seen you seen yeah, snow then. Yeah, I thought yeah. you were talking about like the East Coast. I was like, that ain't no damn oh, snow. Nah. <laughs> you got to get up in there. Yeah. Charlotte, that, that Mecklenburg area. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so Sunday, is there any surprises we should expect? On Sunday? Yeah. Yeah, of course. You know Major. I don't know. Sometimes he people, you know, don't even tell me about surprises. That's true. Mm-hmm. Y'all got so, Food? Food. They usually got food at Crowbar. Somebody's in the bag. All right. All right. I gotta we check, don't have man. anybody personally. I got to check. I need to put an order in for somebody then, man. <laughs> he want a hot dog. Tacos needs to come back around. Yeah. Yeah. Tacos. I'm sure uh-huh. they got Uber Eats. <laughs> uh, I used to Uber Eats uh, Salem's when we was at oh, the yeah. Fubar in yeah. uh, St. Peter's. Yeah. I remember some straight disrespectful shit. Yeah. This nigga be up there eating <laughs> fucking chicken up. wings and shrimp while the show going on. Hey. Nice and hot, you smell yeah. all of the yeah. food. Yeah. Bar, come up there. Now, shit, get out my plate, <laughs> no, sir. Where'd you get that? Members only. <laughs> what else y'all got going on? I know y'all was talking about some other shows you guys got going to be a part of yeah, this month. Yeah, got one going on. Uh, yeah, also Saturday. This Saturday coming up. Um, run that back. This Friday coming up, uh, shout out to Sam Hughes, man. He's uh, he's Sammy got his Hughes is that dude. He got man. An opening of his his uh, the Dojo Studios uh, that's out there in Ebor. So Friday night, that's going down. I'm gonna check him out, show love, and then Saturday, shouts out to my boy uh, Smokey Jones Smoke Shop. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's putting on. That's uh, this Saturday, huh? Yeah. That's this Saturday. Yeah, okay. this Saturday. Yeah, so, it's gonna be a busy weekend. Yeah, man. First, the first annual uh, Smoke so. Shop Festival. Uh, that's gonna be crazy, man. He's got it's from one to nine. It's uh it's on Hillsborough Avenue at the at the smoke shop, and um, ninety four point one is gonna be out there from four to six. Oh sure. So we're doing hip hop from uh from like four to eight, um you know probably nine, but tons of stuff going on for uh, everybody that partakes. Yeah. Um, food vendors. Music <laughs> yeah, tons things. of food. Tons of food vendors. Shouts Get out away. to Shannon. Uh, flavor Water Ice is gonna be out there. Desert. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's going to be hot. you got to get one of those. It's going to be a situation. <laughs> but, uh, you know, everything from, you know, Magical Butter, um, Ooze is giving out like 100 f- to the first 100 people. They're giving out free gift bags. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're doing live cooking demos. There's a rolling challenge. It's going to be Shit. a lot of fun, man. Everybody should I get out there. I they were signing people up for free. <laughs> For the it's free. It's uh, like well, yeah. The they're gonna have the doctors out there. Uh-huh. They're gonna have lawyers out there. Anybody you need to oh, talk to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh shit. So yeah, just pop out, then you'll be able to find all our information. The tickets are free online. Uh, if you don't get a ticket, it's five dollars at the gate. But tickets are free online from Eventbrite. So nice. Get, yeah, get your tickets. Pop out. I'll be performing, and having fun. Come holla at me. <laughs> <laughs> what you got on deck, bro? Uh, besides the straightening it out benefit show, I got the cipher coming on the twenty sixth. You know, shout out to H, cause <laughs> yeah, man. And then uh, other than that, I'm waiting on my my lyrical whole video to come out. But you know, I ain't rushing Ooh. on that. One. Oh, <laughs> you hopped on the lyrical whole? <laughs> I sure did. Uh oh, uh oh. I got a little. I got a little plan with them. They said I could come back every now and then and whatnot. They said you can come back. Yeah. <laughs> that means you must have did the damn thing. I hope so. I hope okay. they think that. <laughs> we'll see what's up. We'll see what's up, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, is there like a favorite song that you have to perform? Of mine, I like mm-hmm. to perform uh, my one track, Amnesia. That was the first track I dropped last year before my son was born. That was the last track I dropped before my son was born. Then I took like a year hiatus just to you know, make sure things go with the family. And I actually just recently came back into the scene like five months ago. So it's pretty, it's, it's nice. I like that song though. That should be jamming on stage. Yeah, yeah people be, whoa. <laughs> Amnesia, people remember that shit? Oh, yeah. Bam. <laughs> <Hey-o>. <laughs> <laughs> That's the irony of it too. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> they be like, well, I remember that one. <laughs> Well, we actually got one of your songs queued up right now, man. We played this a, a couple weeks ago. I wanted to just 
you know, surprise y'all with music. You know, I didn't ask y'all for nothing to, to send over today. Right. I just felt like I played a couple songs that we heard from y'all previously. So right. uh, this one right here is called Salvation. Right. I want you to introduce and set this up for everybody that needs to, to hear this here. All right. So this song is called Salvation uh, by me, Luminate. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I made this song, I believe, about two months ago. The beat's produced by Narrator. Uh, it's one of my guys up in, I think he lives up in Detroit. And... Uh, it's dope, man. It's, it's really just about, you know what I'm saying, like trying to get yourself out the streets and be your own savior, you know. We ran this on episode 29 yeah. of Waves of the Bay. We're yeah, right here a month man. later. So uh, right here, Illuminate, call Salvation. Supreme thoughts, find a peace overseas and dreams of weed car. Find a heart of the sea that's part of the breeze that breathes the life back into my seed. Intimacy, find us way of showing you free. Bird will be flying with a flap of your wings, the beat that can sing. Glory be the name of the king who honors the queen and nurtures all the love that it brings. See, I believe the reason that we always mistreat each other badly is according to that tucked in our jeans. Kind of like heat, but this could blow a hole to your screen. It will never reality that can hold to your screen. I'm back on the scene, I'm really sure I never have left. It's part of my growth. I struggle with the way to be stepped. These seconds are left with men who don't forget about time. I started a lie to telling everybody. Everybody they find, God damn it, they lie. I pull them back, back over your eyes to open your mind and show you that you're always been blind. Can't be defined, sort of like the purpose of life. Curse of a right, curse of surging electrolyte. Spilling up and bourbon, surging one egg ignite. Flames to range flights and strange to range heights to change the plain sight and hang like dang kites when trying to fix the kids and give them a fair fight. I really should wear white, my knuckles is bare white from hitting these brick walls. I trouble my airtight lawns, plunge into the thick fog with one strike. Start a revolution as one cycle and no bikes. Dug back into the underground with one knife. Started taking hands as one Bible and no sight. Say they think alike, but I think I hate Cause most of these niggas beg the hustle and they get this bread Infatuated with money, but never will break a leg I take a bullet, the foolish endeavors of breaking bread You better pay respect, how much the great ones Fake ones, catch your breath, I'll be a late one From day one, tell these bitch niggas stop hating Hey, all the pigs want for the bacon Bacon, talk of money, that's a conversation Praying God's out of she gonna save them Save them, I don't spend money, I make it Bitch, play with fire, then I blow the lights out Never tell nobody I ain't made a wish I'm a tip of field full of cash cows Sitting on a hill, never back down I was agitated, fucking faded in every class clown Since I graduated, I've been faded like a past now Smoking on the dank and syndicated with no cat gowns Badges with the pat downs, raiding every shack house We was in the stash house, waiting for the cash out Plug taking too long, I can hear a scratch now K9, start the alarm, then we lash out hey, Never should have messed with those bricks Dope lies make a fiend take a hit I've been all up in your mind ever since Got you thinking this is all that there is To be honest, I ain't never been Piss poor. I got too much energy to send me to lift off. Never take a shift off. Working nine to six, dog. I be grinding daily, trying to bet up all these chips, dog. I'm trying to eclipse y'all like I built a big wall. Trying to be the big boss. Nothing like brick rocks. Climbing to the tip top. Who I need a flake off? I've been feeling pissed off because I need a split, dog. Hey, tell these bitch niggas stop hating. Hey, all the pigs want to for the bacon. Bacon. Talking money, that's a conversation. Praying God's salvation, gonna save them. Save them. Tell these bitch niggas stop hating. Hey, all the pigs want for the bacon. Bacon. Talking money, that's a conversation. Praying God's salvation, gonna save them. Save them. Waves of the Bay, episode 33. We got Luminate in the building right now. We got to play one of his songs. That was Salvation right there. You performing that on Sunday? Yeah. Do you know what you're performing already? Yeah, I already know. I'm yeah. Performing, I'm performing R.I.P., which I, you also yeah. mentioned on Ways of the Bay, uh, Amnesia, which is, you know, uh-huh. and then also Salvation. That's, That's it. what it is, yeah. man. So I already know two of the three. Right. That Amnesia, I don't, I don't remember that one too well, though, man. That should be a good one, though. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a good one, though. You can't introduce no whack shit with that shit, so I, don't, right. I ain't even worried about that one, man. Right. Jay Smooth, what's up, man? What's happening? You snuck up in the building. Late than the motherfucking. Let's turn it on. No mic working. Got to hold down the button. The button. Looking rough. <laughs> Look like the Yankees and lost out the Man, listen, the listen, 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 listen. Man, listen. Looking like Denzel's nephew. Listen, you <laughs> must. <laughs> <laughs> Not in Denzel. Shit, oh, man. <laughs> what's up, Tone? Ain't DJ shit, Spaceship. Yo, yo. Search. What's yeah, up? Man. What's up? Ain't shit. We's talking about the show on Sunday. Ooh. I like the lineup. That lineup kind of fire. Mm-hmm. Who you, who you like the best on that lineup, man? I don't know. It's hard to choose. You got to pick one. It's, it's hard to choose. You got to pick one. Oh, gotta man. Pick one. I got to pick real one. 
I won't get my I like Miss Panther. I like okay. Miss Panther. She's okay. she gonna come with it. Yeah, I think she's I've heard nothing but good it. things about her, man. I actually reached yeah. out to her about one of the ciphers that we was doing, but I haven't heard back from her, so she be I'm gonna busy. just leave it at she that. Be busy. I'm gonna she leave it at busy. that. My message is on unread. Oh Lord. It's all good. <laughs> Maybe one day. Oh Lord. It's all good though, man. We just oh, finished Lord. up the Waves of the Bay uh female cipher the other day. Shit. That shit was dope. Uh, two yeah. days ago, three that days ago. Was dope. Sunday. That shit was hype. It was a whole situation. Yeah, that shit was hype. A bunch of lyricists too. Yeah, shout out to the five star dive bar for allowing us the the opportunity to go in there and do our work, man. Because we've been doing our shows there, but this wasn't the show. This was like, hey, I need to borrow the spot for a couple of hours. They enjoyed and it. And it was like cool. They enjoyed nice. it. No questions asked. Yeah. Cool. I was like, man, that's that's love right there. Yeah. So we appreciate y'all so much on that, for real, man. I want to, um, where we want to go with this one, man? Since you just got up in here, you looking rough, though. I know you got an album dropping, man. Let's talk about the album coming out. Yeah. In two um, days or before something? Before the deal, dropping Halloween at midnight. Mm-hmm. That's my second project. Okay. Yeah. You excited about it? You don't seem too hyped oh, about that shit? Extra excited. You tired, huh? Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. But I'm excited to share with the world, man. That I'm excited, too, man. I'm ready for them to hear the new music. <clears throat> That's see how you get down. It's, I can't even talk about it. Is Blue Faces on that shit? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Blue Faces all I'm all right. Right. I can have to all right. make the list regardless. <laughs> so this That's is that later. time, then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yo, All shouts right. out to Jay Smooth. I'm on the new album. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's your favorite song on the new album? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Superstar is my favorite. I'm okay. not even going to yeah, lie. Like Money Beats, that man. one. Yeah. That one is my favorite. Shout out to me throwing the beat, though. That's the homie, too, man. Yeah. <laughs> Bunch of smiley face motherfuckers. Y'all look too happy <laughs> over here, man. Y'all, smiling, y'all looking like some skinny fat boys over here, man. Like, <laughs> gotta tuck it in. Gotta tuck it in. <laughs> like the fat boys skinny and fat hit boy. keto in this motherfucker. That's what y'all looking like, dude. Uh, hey, Everybody man. all happy. Beginning, the, beginning of the year, I was a size 44, and I, I got know this, to a 38. What's happening? I know this, bro. <laughs> it all went into the beard, man. <laughs> Yo, if I, if I cut it off, I'll be 10 years younger. Hey, I say the same <laughs> shit, man. I actually got complimented at Walgreens the other day. I got carded. I had to go nice. get some children's medicine. And she's like, oh, you don't oh, look shit. that old. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. I was like, oh, she must be trying to get at me. Let me get up out of here. <laughs> Her wife, you find- This is an old lady at Walgreens, too. Oh, like, this is an old lady oh, game. She was like 72? Old lady game. You know how that shit works. If you work with them, they bring you a plate type shit. <laughs> that, that old lady game type shit. Hey. So, yeah, I felt good about myself. But <laughs> if I ever die this shit, man, oh, nobody's going to know that shit. I look young than hell if I ever die. I can't die that shit, bro. That's These battle true. stars That's right true. here, bro. Right. Well, <laughs> 60. Yeah, your shit go white with the bald head. You look hey, hey, David Banner pulls <laughs> it off, though. Uh-huh. David Banner pulls yeah, it off, does. though. I ain't David. Hey, That shit raw. <laughs> he did yeah. pull it off, he pulled it off, though. Yeah. Yeah. He did pull it off. Illuminate, I want to get into uh, the post you were doing a, a few months ago, man. Which like, one? just about that like the promoters and, and, and pay to play and all that shit, man. All right, so we talked about this. Confusion on that. Exactly. We talked about this in the inbox, and I'm, I'm understanding everything you're coming through. Mm-hmm. And, and just to put it out there, I don't think you was talking about me at all. Right, and we right. already cleared that shit up. But right. I want you to explain to people, like, your, your positioning on that, man. Right. So there's like. To me, there's like there's a couple ways that you can do it. You know what I'm saying? There's um, you got the promoters that actually got legit businesses, platforms. They they actually do the work, and there's a lot of them out here. And there's you know there's a lot of good pro- uh, promoters out here. But then you got these. There's some guys, and you know I'm not gonna name names because that's not me. But um, there's some guys that just you know they wake up one day and they think they can get a quick buck just by throwing a random ass showcase, mm-hmm. and there's no actual platform behind it there's nothing there for the people like there's not there's no reason worth paying to get on that stage when i you know you go there like every other week or you go there on a free day and you get on stage for you know what i'm saying it's like you re- you actually have to come with a reason for me to want to pay to get on stage you know what i'm saying like and that that's where my my shit comes in it's like if you don't really have something behind you saying hey this is what i'm worth then there's no reason for me to give you money you know so have you have you the, the people that you have in mind that or that that, that prompt this uh, idea, this thoughts in your mind. Have you approached any of them one to one, man to man, and speak your piece? How you feel about it? I mean, there's been a couple. I mean, there was like even at the lyrical hall, they asked me the same question. They're like, "How do you feel about paying uh, to perform on stage and whatnot?" And it's like, 
is like some things just go over people's heads when they don't really right. understand the depth mm-hmm. of it. You know what I'm saying? Like right. they just feel offended at first and they don't want to really hear the, the logic they behind just, it. They shut off from yeah, there. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. just like through the ears and out the other, you know? So, yeah, it's all good though. You got to build a value, man. Right. And like I do sales for, you know, day job and just like any, you know this shit, man. Yeah, from yeah. Anything we're trying to do, you got to build a value if you want right. people to come and if you have a price that you're set. That you're charging, mm-hmm. you got to give the people a reason to want to pay right. that price. Exactly. So, like, mm-hmm. like I just paid H forty dollars to get on the cipher, right? And because I know, because I know H, you know what I'm saying. I know he got, he knows what he's doing. I know he has this platform and his business and shit. Right. right. Like some people, they come out, they they got no name behind it, no reputation, and they want people to. Here's the entry fee. Uh, we got you guys are going to be upcharged at the bar. You're going to be performed to get on stage or pay to get on stage and all this extra shit. I'm like, bro. Do you notice, like, are those promoters or per se, like, from around here? Or are they, like, coming from out of town trying to They're, trying to cash in? One specifically that I know, and I don't want to name I people. I know, you know one what I'm saying. come from out of town. Yeah, exactly. There's one he that came from every out of town. Year. <laughs> yeah. And then I probably know who you're talking about. <clears throat> there's probably, like, a, a couple others that I know that are in town that aren't really that known. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then there's, like, I mean, there was I've been tried a couple times by some big names, but I don't really take that personal. You know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. nothing towards them, you know? That's just how they saw me at that time so right it's all good yeah you real chill man yeah like i like that dog. like you got a good vibe to you man like i appreciate it for that. sure all y'all huh? you know i can fuck with y'all already man like, this <laughs> man. is my first time really getting to interact with him i'm just goofy level. yeah right i'm goofy yeah, yeah. i ain't even gonna lie yeah I, i'm facts I'm really, again <laughs> i'm like a ghost like me and my boys like jace moving no i'm a ghost you know what I'm saying? I'm really behind the scenes. I do a lot behind no the lie. scenes. Mm-hmm. And a lot you of can see them one minute, and then you don't. The mm-hmm. <laughs> but I do a lot behind the scenes to really put people on, to help uh, to help people, you know, progress in their careers. I saw you, you put on, a, like, not a, like a kind of workshop or something to get everybody signed up. Like, when, or yeah, like, did y'all BMI. do a show or something? That yeah, we, it was we, open mic night, and everybody that came through. Y'all was going to help get signed right. up for the business. Yeah, well, they were able to sit down with us. We mm-hmm. talked about BMI and stuff. We talked about how to get registered, how to upload your works on the catalogs, all that stuff. Um... I've also recently been doing like promotion and stuff like SoundCloud and Spotify promotion, getting people on playlists mm-hmm. and, you know, just curating stuff. It's, it's just been a, it's not, a nice little grind, you know what I'm saying? And it's really humbling. It's a nice experience. Yeah. And I like the, I like, like one thing that's, um, I, I love to see is people coming together and network. Mm-hmm. And I, I drop this person's name out there most of the time. I'm not saying he's the only person that does this, mm-hmm. um, but L quote. Um, mm-hmm. He comes to events whether he's performing or not. Right. He stays to the end. Even if he comes to see, say for example, he came to see you, mm-hmm. he gonna stay. He gonna check out M16. He right. gonna check out Smooth. He gonna check out Spaceship. He gonna check out Tone. Right. Like he stays, and not just that, he builds relationships. And I'm the type of person I like to listen to documentaries about you know people that's making it, that's made it in the mainstream and in right. the industry that we all trying to get attached to and make a living out of. And they all go back to saying the same thing. I met this person. Networking. It was a relationship, a relationship I built, a bond, networking. Mm-hmm. And I love to see when other artists can put their egos and differences and pride to the side right. to create those opportunities for other artists to, you know, okay, look, you got to make sure you signed up with this as far as the BMI and the ASCAP. Mm-hmm. And I remember other... when I first started, it was a huge competition. It was like everybody everybody was, I can make it by myself. I right. can do this. I can do that and the mm-hmm. other. I'm like, okay. It's that's, still like that. It's, it's still, still like Yeah, that. a lot of kids are like that, especially a lot of the newcomers coming up. And it's right. like really only, you know, the people that have been in the game for a minute. Like, right. Man, these newcomers just don't listen. Yeah, they don't listen. <laughs> well, it's, it's not that. It's, it goes along. Like, you sound to look like an old ass man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he sound about 40. You know what I'm saying? I think it's, it's more so that everybody, I, and I say this, this statement every time, Everybody wants to be baby, but don't nobody want to be slim. Right, right. And right. when I put it out on Facebook, a lot of people looked at it and they walked past it. Mm-hmm. They didn't get it. They mm-hmm. didn't understand. They didn't try to understand. And then I, you know, recently started explaining what that means. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody wants to be famous. Everybody wants to make it. If the goal is to make it, who cares if you're in front of the camera or behind the scenes? Right. As long as you make it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you have, like Dr. Dre, he used to be a DJ. Now he's a super producer. Mm-hmm. Timberland, he used to be a DJ. Super producer Jermaine Dupri, hey, Diddy, Harlem shaking. It. You see what I'm saying? So it's like it's it's a, even Tupac. Tupac was a background dancer, mm-hmm. and you know he still rap, but he 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 played his position. So it's like a lot of people have to be patient and they have to play their position because it might right. not be your turn right now, but it doesn't mean that you won't get to be in the front. Maybe your right. position is not meant to be 
the front runner. Right. Timing is everything. You see man. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Look at Nelly and the, and the Lunatics, man. You need somebody to knock the door down to open it up for the rest of these cats. Right. And if you try to move too fast and it's not timed, then you're going to know that shit. And if you go too late, then you can drop right. the ball. Right. It's all about timing, yo. Yeah, one of my favorite quotes is uh, everybody's trying to get to the same party. It doesn't matter what time you get there, just get there safe. Just arrive, baby. Right. Just arrive, you know what I'm saying? Right. Just get there. Yeah, everybody, I mean, and, it's, and the sad part about it is <clears throat> it's a difference between competition and cattiness. Right. You got mm-hmm. cattiness, you know, illuminate. This nigga ain't got bars. Mm. M16 ain't got the hooks. Yeah, smooth bad. got this, smooth. And no disrespect to anybody, but some people have to be honest with their friends. And have, just because you're friends with somebody don't mean you can't be honest right. with them because you're right. the first line of defense to that person's creativity as right. an artist. You know what I'm saying? If I put a mix up and it's trash, I expect my peoples to tell me Somebody straight up. Somebody better tell your ass. Yeah. You see what I'm Otherwise saying? You gotta get some friend. new friends. Yeah, because you got all these. <laughs> some people have a lot of yes men in their camp, mm-hmm. and my camp is very limited and small. I don't, I don't, I don't rock with too many people. I'm cool with everybody, but I don't. You know, I don't. And then, and then a lot of nephew, artists. Though. A lot of artists got us. Well, you you know you I right, yeah. Right. <laughs> a lot of artists got to stop seeking validation from right. people that's doing the same thing that they're doing, right. especially yeah. if it's somebody that you're not looking up Preach. to. Right. As far as like you know, somebody that you can learn from. Like you say, mm-hmm. you got promoters and stuff put shows on. What's right. the value? Right. As a promoter, me giving you my money, what's the value? Mm-hmm. And like you said, you have some big name promoters try you know try come at you that way. But mm-hmm. at the same time, like you said. You hadn't got to that point, so you had to show them your value. Right. Exactly. And why they should, you know, because as easy as you go to a promoter that's new, you got to also know what store you're shopping at. Right. You can't go inside of Louis Vuitton and expect to get Walmart prices. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, you can't go on Walmart and spend Louis Vuitton money on a bunch of bullshit, too. Right. Yeah. But you got to know where you at and, and, and move accordingly. Mm-hmm. You know right. what I'm saying? So... I mean, I'm 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 the same way myself. You know, I go out and I check out shows. I don't tell nobody when or where I'm going. I just pop the fuck up and chill. That should mm-hmm. be fun, dog. Just play a corner. Watch people start scrambling yeah. and shit, dog. It's not like we on that level, but I've seen people start scrambling mm-hmm. when me and this cat show up. Yeah, you get nervous. I just yeah, like to, I and, and it's and I give people advice and I tell everybody the same thing. Smooth can tell you, sixteen can tell you. This is just my opinion. This is how I see it. it don't mean everybody else mm-hmm. think the way I think, but this is what I observe. You see what I'm saying? I'm pulled. 16 to the side and told him some things, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's not to hurt or cripple him. Right. Hey, this is something that I observe. Because at the end of the day, I'm a fan too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I like music by a lot of people now. I might not t- get a chance to tell everybody, but it's a lot of it's a lot of dope, talented people. We just watched Kalea on The Voice. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? From the Bay Area, the 727. Mm-hmm. So, right. um, I mean, the talent is here. It's just when when the love and the unity comes together, man. Unity Jam, yep. you know that's a whole different thing because me and Tone, we we now are part of a show that I never thought I'd be a part of with the Saturday Night Shutdown. That's been going for what thirty plus years. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's eighty six. You bro. see what I'm saying? I was a kid. Right. I used to drive past that station and be like, "Damn, how can I get inside?" Now right. I'm inside, <laughs> trying to think how I can magnify. And everybody's talking about unity and support, but we getting people on the inside now. You know what right. I'm saying? Sure. We got inside men. So what are you gonna do with it when they in position, man? Like yeah. the way I look right. at it. And we all pretty much have said the same thing. Like, we have a smaller circle, mm-hmm. but that smaller circle is ready to work. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're ready to move. We're ready yeah. to put in that grind, and we don't need everybody's support. Right. We just need us to build that foundation and then watch the people come. Right. And it seems like a lot of artists are worried about other artists yeah, you can't worry about showing that. their support when it's about these fans. Yeah, they're trying yeah. to sell fish to fishermen. And once you we catch these saying? fans, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, then yeah, what happens? Oh, we I'm both bringing, in the same scene. I'm bringing yeah, 50 right. fans that are not artists to shows. What type of impact is that going to make? Right. You know what I'm saying? That's going to show people what's up. Oh, yeah. And then get into the pay to play shit. That's how mm-hmm. you get paid. For these damn shows, you get that right. following. It's all about these fans, bro. Mm-hmm. You got to show them your value. Like, give them a reason to want to put a dollar in your pocket. Right. You know what I'm saying? And one of the biggest things I was told um, in sales, I actually was taught, put a mirror in front of your face. Would you buy from you? Mm-hmm. Put a mirror in front of your face. Would you buy your music? Would you support your music? Right. And, and, and you can't. Everything. Yeah, you can't get mad because everybody yeah. don't support you that you want to because right. some people can't support their damn self. Right. Yeah. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Cater exactly. to the people that. That's catering back to you. It's not saying fuck people that's not. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it takes people a little longer to catch on. Yeah. Most of Beyonce fans not in Houston. Houston support Beyonce. Mm-hmm. That's home base. Right. But 
I guarantee you can go other places and her turnout will be stupid. Yeah, they go to yeah. Brazil and yeah. drop Beyonce in Tampa <laughs> and watch how the turnout is. Yeah, right. In exactly. Houston, they gonna show up too, but mm-hmm. I mean, they gonna be crazy, crazy. Yeah, like, motherfuckers yeah. calling out the work to go see Beyonce. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They all they know all her songs and stuff, but people can't get mad because somebody don't support you because you ain't. You ain't gonna be for everybody. Right. I'm not for everybody. Yeah, it's just impossible. To yeah, at all. just yeah. take what you got and magnify. And then people be showing fake love anyway. It's like we have people that we thought we was cool with that ain't even cool with us. Once we started getting, once we started Man, accelerating, it is, it is right. what it is. You know what I'm saying? And like I've said before, I don't worry about that shit because don't they even think about. They it. gonna they throw the shade yeah. with we gone with right. me worrying about it without me worrying about it. I'm gonna save my little megabytes in my brain and use that for other things. Let them. Let them. I got their attention too. Welcome to the Spaceship Show. Right. Twenty four episodes later, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It happens. It happens. I don't. I, and people focusing like making the stallion said it best. Oh, you got to cut this off, Serge. Oh, you ain't gonna watch this? No, nah, not right now, man. You know <laughs> making the stallion said it best. You got you got people, celebrities that uh put up something, music or a picture, and get a thousand, hundred thousand comments. All of them. Except one can be positive, except that one. They will go mm-hmm. through and find that one negative comment yeah. and respond to it. Yep. How the hell did you do that? <laughs> Out of 500 What y'all deal with? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you focused on all that one comment over mm-hmm. all this love you got. Right. I don't worry about it. I just keep moving. Mm-hmm. I think Can't we're going to keep it moving it. right into the song right Can now, man. Perfect segue right there. We've been talking with the homies. We got Jay Smooth. Looking yes. Jay Ruff right now. Nah, <laughs> M sixteen, the hybrid <laughs> over here, Illuminate. We got a song from uh from sixteen right here, man. I'm actually hey. Flex. I ain't gonna say it out loud yet, but man, I've been waiting to play this on air, but I figure I'll wait until I, I we actually have you here in the building. So okay. we got that sixteen Six, about 16. to hit the airways right here. Can you go ahead and introduce this man? Give us some background on this one too. Uh, uh the background is uh I don't know, man. I just you know talk Started off from like 10 years ago back when I was selling drugs and just going to, you know, what I was doing at the time and hitting, hitting, hitting with the bars. So, yeah, it's just a, uh, more like a personal reflection song, not really, but just lyrical. Six Tang. <laughs> <laughs> Ways of the Bay, episode 33. <laughs> Was happening. The demolition man's an animal. Six tank, six tank, six tank, eight. Hey, six tank, six tank, six tank, six tank. Pull the boy by the microwave, put it in the gap, don't put the black, I got that tidal wave. Ooh. Just something small, passing the time, need me an ocean, any art on my life. Got now it. that I got your attention, don't need to say, hey, yeah, you catching me flexing, you mess with depression when dealing that stress, cause the junk you will test, no intentions are less. Ooh. Did that bitch made me some money and quit, yeah. run the same time to get into hit in my crib. Yeah. They ain't fucking shit cause I'm just too legit, and the exit was picked up, it ain't yeah. no piss, yeah. cause yeah. the poster was sorta like soda, I'm smoking my bro, they came in with the bitch, just slipping out of Texas, ask me questions, I don't know anything, look what the fuck, no bit, I'll be snapping, snapping. Snap Tend to be slacking and acting, I am what they lack. Like. Pull my brain out of my cranium, I have a hard time with putting it back. And I'm the main attraction, money I'm attracting. I'm blowing myself up, the action is packed. And you old and you dusty like Susan so Sarandon. They gave me the blueprint, I'm asking the plan. So that was what's happening. All by my lone, heart of a tiger, I'm feeling like Tony. My people is so thick that I give them my body. I wanna become universal like Sony. Take that shit back to my home with my homies. Yeah. Let them off feast like that shit be Ferroni. Sick what they told me, I'm feeling fine. The world for the taking, yeah. I feel like it's mine. Six. Tang, six, tang, six, tang, hybrid. Hey, who am I? Six tang, six tang, six tang, six tang, six tang. Six tanks, six tanks, six tanks. Just like your daddy be made, it seems different. So dope, hot and fresh at the kitchen. It's not impossible. I'm on a mission for four the money to double my vision. You get it? I'm tripping. Yeah. Silly, if I spit hitting, most like a statue of God in my sinning. No need to answer, don't feel your opinion. I'm good on my own, like a kid with no feelings. What? Sick with the flow, ain't no need for no medicine. Mother of money and mother of Benjamin. You wanna be at a conference like presidents? I crush your confidence. Just with my pressing I'm intolerant. Off with the heads of this shit. My mentality lacking the sentiment. Still the most sweet of the triggery intimates. Hybrid like hope, but I'm Stronger than ten of them. Wow, wow. Killing wow. the dogs. Sub-Zero's 
Xanax, I'm chill with the bars You just immortal, this combat for guards Rip your innards out, dog, you ain't never been hard nah. Out of the mud, but you suck in the yard nah. Guard the body, I body the guard yeah. When the blood's glider, I'm calling it art I'm amazing, I'm rush. Mario Kart Ain't nobody ain't no with me, pity It's not no pretty Puffin' the sneakers, gotta get me a regimen Tomahawk flow, scappy like Indians Extraterrestrial, civil civilian Be what you wanna be, righteous reptilian Shout out to MD, I'm rockin' for Philly And ripping the mics, I'm just looking for millions Six Tang, six tang, six tang, hybrid. Hey, who am I? Six tang, 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 six tang. Waves of the Bay, episode 33. We just heard that hybrid M16 with yeah. 16. Dang. Yes, sir. Real quick, man. Tell us what's going on Sunday one more again. Sunday, November 3rd. Uh, they about to say it. I'm like, oh, don't skip Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday, November 3rd at the Crowbar, 6 p.m. Uh, straighten it out. Benefit show, hip hop for hurricane relief. Um, Urban Blend Entertainment. Come through. It's only $5. Uh great performances and all the money's going to help uh you know hurricane victims so help some people have some fun at the same time mm-hmm. I, I got i got one more question for all, all right. of y'all man oh, this will, I'll, I'll try to introduce this segment it's not really a segment it's a question though i want i try to introduce a couple shows ago we kind of fell off just because but y'all are full of love y'all full of support all yeah. that shit man i want to give i want a art a male artist and a female artist in tampa bay that y'all want to just show some shine to real quick all right. Okay. Zandi and Odyssey. Say that again. Zandi. That's two ladies. Zandi. Give me a yeah. man, give me a lady. Give you a, give you a man. I'm going to say Fresh P. Okay. Fresh Go P. with Fresh. Why? Uh, he just, he hardworking. He driven, man, and he's focused. Like, he never lose sight. Man, never balls. lose sight. And he got those two, the bars, too. Balls. And what about yeah, Zandi or Odyssey? Which one of them? Matter of fact, speak on both of them. <laughs> both of them are, are like great artists, and Zandi got so many styles. Like it's just it's crazy. Like it's just crazy. And the artist she she could rap and sing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's just the talent is there. Like he's damn sure can. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> nah, man. I, I, we personally have seen Zandi demolish two of our ciphers, yo. Facts. Like, we did a lady cipher originally back when we did a producer cipher. This back in April. My best friend was down yeah, here. Yeah, I seen shit. that with Ganga. And that shit was off the fucking chain. Ooh. But the execution was wrong. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, we had to fall back. It was pretty much one hit. That's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, anything happens, we fucked. And we didn't get all the audio, we didn't get all the video, shit like that. So, shit wasn't working, so we had to run that shit back. She killed that shit at that time. She killed that shit a couple days ago. <laughs> Maybe even worse, yo, like, for real. Nice. Like, she, the way she came on that cypher. Wait, wait till y'all see the Lady Cypher. Let me put I it like wait. that. Lady Cypher produced by Jay Wiz. Wait till y'all see that shit, because that shit's going to be... When y'all, Zani murdered that shit. When bro. y'all dropping yeah. it? Uh, probably, probably next month sometime. Next month. We got another one to drop first, and then we got that one, and right. a couple of things in the work for that. So, right. all right, hi, Bree. Um, <laughs> Mel, shouts out to uh, Gotti Benz. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know him. Uh, I met him through a mutual friend, and uh, he's got dope music, man. He's a younger cat, and uh, he just really makes really good music. Shouts out to him. He's moving, doing his thing. Uh, follow him on Instagram, Gotti Benz, and then. Um, uh, female artists I don't know too many female artists personally but um uh I was really impressed with with D Baby at Ignite the Fright she sings really good she could sing that was amazing yeah, yeah. Like, she took me by surprise I, I finally uh not finally but I got to meet her for the Loud on 7th Music Festival okay. we were part of that and uh, she was on one of the shows I was hosting and yeah, that's my first time being introduced to her. She okay. she kills that shit. Yeah, and yeah. She's new down here too, so she's making waves pretty yeah you know, pretty quickly at the same time. She's doing good. She's got a good sound. Definitely. Yeah. Shouts out to her. Uh, I'm gonna start with a female artist. I don't know if she still lives in Tampa, but Nico Sweet. 
Oh, yeah, she is amazingly yeah. dope. Amazing. She's one of our favorites. Look, so. When I first heard Nico Sweet, I mean, wow. No, we can't and, uh, even. Like, we try not to show favoritism, but we can't even. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, like, I, I know, I know yeah. my music, man. She good. <laughs> <laughs> and um, as far as guys go, I mean, who, who staying consistent? I the dude in the room right now, Jay Smooth. That's my boy right there. That's my brother, man. You know what I'm saying? Dod. He he's been really consistent. I mean, he's he's really inspirational. He keeps me in check. Um, just as far as you know, being professional, being an artist here in the in the scene in the music scene, he, he's been in it for longer than I have. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, that's another one that pops up and supports all the time. Right? right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I don't tell nobody. I'm mm-hmm. just dead. yeah. He just, just pops pop up. up. Yeah, uh-huh. DJ Spaceship. I know what's going down November first. What's <laughs> <laughs> going down November first? Hey, you at the Kennedy, the ain't Kennedy. you? Ah. Okay, the Kennedy, the My Kennedy. DJ is holding it down. <laughs> Shout out DJ Gino Lexus. Shout out the Surgeon General. Yep. Y'all gonna be in the Kennedy. I'm trying to make my way out there, man. We'll see. Man, I gotta get them. There, I already man. planted the seed. We'll see. Tell them who your two people that you uh you want to highlight, man. Hmm. Put the camera on me right quick. Who the? Mm-hmm. See, I, that's why I gotta stop doing this shit. <laughs> <laughs> it come back around yeah. on me, uh, dudes. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. That's a really good question, man. That's a really good question. I can go first and tell you my two. I'll take time. care of it. I'll take care of it. Let's talk about the ladies first, man. I want to talk about one of the ones that showed up uh, to the lady cipher. Let's talk about Semi. Uh, Semi, from the first time I seen her perform back in April until what she did a couple days ago, this just like night and day, bro. Like the switch that went off, the delivery has been ironed out. Like the the bars are on point. Like everything about. What I saw and what I just saw is like a different motherfucker, dog. So, Simi would be who I'm talking about uh, for the ladies. Uh, for the dudes, hmm. Let's talk about Asaru. Let's Asaru. talk about Asaru because yeah, Asaru's yeah. a young cat coming up. Bars. He doesn't cuss in his music, for one, at all. So, I know I can play his music wherever. Mm-hmm. But as a young cat with his type of view and, you know, like what he sees. It's a different, uh, it's a different view for me. You know what I'm saying? Like it kind of makes me go back mm. to way back when. But he just the way he narrates stuff. I, I'm a fan of Asaru right there. So, yeah. True that. True that. If I had to go myself, well, my turn. I did say it's my mm-hmm. turn. So I'm gonna go with two people. Um, I'm gonna start with female first, and I'm gonna go with Ganga Lee. Okay. Okay. And the reason I picked Ganga Lee is because her style is just. Her style is part of what a big part of what the scene needs. Um, she ain't with the foo foo la ra. Mm-hmm. She give you straight prison bars, jail mm-hmm. bars, straight you know, up, straight hard hard bars, and it makes it makes sense. She ain't out here talking about what she ain't. Right. Um, male, I'm gonna say it's a it's a combination for me for me. It's gonna be and it's gonna be crazy. Outside the box and last. And the reason why I was gonna say last, man. The reason why I say them two together, I couldn't pick one over the other because they both dope mm-hmm. in their in their respect of you know poetry and spitting balls <laughs> and last. But that dear Chicago track, what they did on them on a J Wiz beat, that that chemistry that they have is it just shows you how you, two people from two different worlds come together mm-hmm. and make magic. Right. So those would be my two, but kind of three because you know I'm from Florida, we don't count right. <laughs> That's that Hillsboro education yeah, right there, up, boy. Gonga Lee, outside the box, and, and last. Surge. Uh, let me see. As far as the ladies are concerned, I don't know. I just got to go with C. Renee. She's okay. just legendary, you know, and she's always seems to be showing everybody love. Humble. You know what I'm saying? So I got to go with her first. Uh, the dudes, I got to go with Gino Lexus. Mm-hmm. Super I've seen humble. The, the growth that I've seen from him, you know, saying considering all the circumstances he's got going on in his life, mm-hmm. is dope. He literally went from, you know, barely being a DJ at all to now he's about to be one of the biggest shows of the night on Friday. Ain't that some shit, yo? That's that you word. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he's one of those guys, if you need something, you call him and he's already on the way. Got right you. there. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Gino. That's going to be fun on Friday. And shout out to C. Renee. All right, now. We still got to think of a name for this shit, man. It's a good one, though, man. We, we like to give roses while people are still above ground. You know what I'm saying? One last question for y'all real quick before we get into the meat and potatoes of this shit, man. 
what do you bring? Jay, uh, for, this is a question for all three of y'all. What do y'all bring to enhance the Tampa Bay music scene? To enhance it? Energy. Okay. <clears throat> That's all I got. Like, I feel like my music is... I have enough different kind of music, uh, you know what I'm saying, to, to be able to reach anybody, but I also think uh, helping to create opportunities for people to, you know, get on and shine too. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> you, you come a long way. And yeah, like, yeah, for real, man. Man, I'm proud of you, bro. <laughs> I appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Uh, information, uh, compassion, understanding, you know what I'm saying? Um, also, just being a good human being I mean <laughs> you know what I'm saying hip hop is it's a culture it's a way of living and to be able to just do justice on that part and be okay with the community and my music that's dope to me you know what I mean so unity I like it man. <laughs> I like it dog unity. like I said unity. Lumen it's, it's been a I'm, I'm glad we had you on here man like it's a good vibe out of you all the way bro like I appreciate you man I know these cats Everybody in this room, I know. I'm goofy. And I'm happy that you came on because I did see that post when you put up about the, the local promoters and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that so it, got a lot of attention. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't say nothing out loud because uh -huh. I'm the type of person, okay, I see it. Right. Maybe we'll cross paths and I ask. Right. I'm just glad he you hit me up in my inbox, man. Because like, what I posted on there, I didn't want him to take it as offense either. Yeah, he right. did it. So we talk like grown men. But that's the kind I of conversation that, that you can have. People can't do that shit That's the conversation that I thought I was going to be able to have mm -hmm. here at Waves of Debate at one particular time. But that shit did not go that way. But it's okay because I'm still DJ Spaceship today. Hey, that's your boy. Blast off. <laughs> that's your boy. <laughs> but it happens, man. It happens, man. <laughs>